independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has named Silicon Valley attorney and entrepreneur Nicole Shanahan as his vice presidential pick at a campaign rally on Tuesday. Joe, can you talk to us about Nicole Shanahan? Who is she? What do we need to know about her? Well, she's... Um, um, uh, if she were a horse in a Melbourne Cup, I'd be putting a lot of money on her. She's about 12 to 1 to help this guy win, win the presidency or come very close. Look, she's uh, she's got the poverty story. You know, her mother was Chinese. Her father was uh, Irish, had trouble holding a job kind of thing. And she went to school, and then she made a lot of money. She's a technologist. She's a scientist. She's an entrepreneur, et cetera. She's worth uh, billions of dollars. She paid for... Um, uh, Robert Kennedy's $4 million ad during the Super Bowl, and she's gotten very excited. Now, look, I started watching the launch, which is three hours yesterday. I couldn't stop watching, Gabriela. This thing is dynamic. The guy, there, she's going after uh, the people who, who poison American children with their lousy food. She's going after the health industry that doesn't do much for them. She's going after the big pharma that doesn't do anything for anybody. I mean, she's gone after corruption. I mean, this Kennedy campaign is a real sleeper. And I know now why the Democrats and Republicans tried to kill it. He represents, or his, his uh, this guy's uh, a presidential run, represents about 24% of the American people who vote. That would make him the largest political party in America. Now, what your, your viewers probably don't know is, uh, even if we, uh, let's get past the idea of spoiling the election for Biden or Trump. Uh, I think, um, and I like to predict here that I think we're going to, we got a real possibility here, or probability, that uh, we may have to go to the House of Representatives. I think um, there's enough strength behind Nicole uh, Shanahan and Robert Kennedy uh, Jr. to uh, to probably probably block Biden or 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 Trump from getting enough votes in the Electoral College. Now the Electoral College has 580 votes. You need 270 to become president of the United States. If you don't get it, then it goes to the House of Representatives and they vote in the top three people. And after that, if they can't get a decision, the um, the president becomes a caretaker till. Uh, till January, and then I think they could vote for anybody they want. So uh, we, this has happened in American life before, where elections have been thrown into it. And look, this is this is really about the intelligence of the American people. I studied the the crowd at the at this launch. They're young and they're old. They're black and they're white. You know, they're Indians and uh, American Indians and uh, Indians from India. And they, they got every everybody is represented there, as a matter of fact. And these are people who are disgusted with uh, what's happening in American life and you know, they're interested in, in renewing the soil and restoring faith in the in American government these people are typical of what we call the progressives at the turn of the uh, the 19th or early 20th century that is these are people who are trying to return government to the people they see corporate greed and political uh, corruption uh, as at the center of American life right now and I swear, to, I swear, I can't disagree with them about what they're going after. These are kind of the very, very sophisticated version of what Bernie Sanders was trying to do. And look, they're not going to take any votes away from the Republicans. They're going to take votes away from the Democrats. Robert Kennedy Jr., you know, was a, a Democrat. His whole family was a Democrat. He said five members of his family actually worked for Biden today. And, of course, people are trying to say he's kind of a crazy man. He's not crazy at all. Uh, he's been fighting the establishment all of his life, and I, I, I followed Robert Kennedy Jr.'s career, uh, Robert Kennedy's father's career, very closely when I was a young man in college, and we were all politically active. Uh, this guy's the real deal, and he's coming after them. And you know what? I tell you what, don't underestimate the American public. I mean, they mm. may look like they're going along with the circus, but they may surprise you on that second Tuesday in November. Okay, well, we'll wait and see. But I also just want to ask you, what impact do you think Nicole Shanahan is going to have? Is it really going to shake up this election? Yeah, I think it will. I mean, when you have a, a good look at her, she's uh, 38 years old. Uh, she's quite earnest. Uh, she puts her money where her, her heart is, as a matter of fact. she's uh, She actually produced that movie, Common Ground, Kiss the Ground, about renewing American soil and that kind of thing. It's a, it's a good indicator of what she's doing. But uh, look, she's... Uh, uh, she's uh, more effective. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to say she's smarter than Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is pretty smart, but she doesn't have the uh, 
I think the now is to go much further than that. But this woman is a, a technologist. She knows how to go from A to B and get things done. And and, and she's a, she's a she's a performer. You know, she gets in front of that stage. And let's face it, American television, like Australian uh, American politics, like Australian politics today, it's about you know whether you're telegenic. If you can't perform on a television mm -hmm. screen, you're gonna look pretty bad and do pretty. Bad. Early. And uh, I tell you what, the screen loves her. She's uh, she's the real deal. And I tell you what, people who estimated these folks are in for a big surprise. Okay, Professor Joseph Syracuse, thank you so much for joining us on Power Hour. Really appreciate getting your insights and analysis as always. Okay, thank you.